In today's video, I am going to show you how you can install some tools by compiling the source code. So let's get started. So let's first visit the download page. This is the page and I will leave the link in the description box for you to use. So we are going to download this, this latest release here and then use that for the exercise. And this is the instruction. So we are going to follow this instruction here to set it up. Now let's check the GitHub page here. If you want to read more about some tools, just come to the GitHub page and then you can just get some documentation here as well. So let's check the requirements for it. Let's visit this page here and see the requirements, system requirements. So in addition to you um, having a unit like operation system, that is Mac OS or Linux, you need to have this requirement also on your PC, which uh, by default, most Linux systems should have. You need to have this and this. Yeah, so just get all the requirements and especially these ones here. That is what you need. I use a C compiler, GCC, and then um, GNU make. So, I think you should be fine. So if you don't have them, just try and then install them on your PC. It should be straightforward. So let's proceed. So let's first download the source code here. So I'll just right click and then just copy the link. This is what I'll use. I'll use that link here. You can also click it straight away and then just download. It's fine, but I prefer to do everything on a terminal. So let me go to the terminal. Okay, I am here. So the first thing I'll do is to cd to my home directory. I just want to start everything here. So I'll just cd and then I am here. And then I am going to download the source code. So I'll use the widget utility. So this is it. I'll use widget and supply it with the link. And then I'll just get it started. So let's download it. Perfect. It's done. That was quick. So let's check it out. So do an ls. And you see the file here. Perfect. So the next thing we are going to do is to extract the contents of this file here. We are going to extract the content. So we say tar xfv or svf and specify the file and then we run it. So this will extract the content for us nicely as it's been done for you. Okay, that's nice. It's done for us. So do an ls and you'll see a new directory here. So just take note of that. We are ready to roll. So let's check the content of this directory. So do an ls and you'll see the content here. So we are going to use the configure scripts to do this. But we should also look at this. The approach we are going to use works for those who don't have root access. If you don't have administrative access on your system, then this approach is going to work for you. And so let's just clear the screen. Let's proceed. And also it is important that you organize your installation files. So this is something you also need to do, especially if you don't have a root access, you need to create a directory where all your uh, installation um, installation activities will be saved to when i say installation activities i mean all the files that's all the softwares let me put it there all the softwares that you are going to install or download should be saved there so that it's easy to get them and then locate them so let's create a directory let's say make the apps this is where we are going to put the sum tools and compile files or the binaries that will be generated let's create another directory again so let's say make the apps slash some tools let's leave it like this you can also add a version but that's something you can do yourself later just to organize them so we have our file we need now let's get a full path of this particular some tools directory so let's see it to it perfect i am assuming some of my viewers are beginners so i have to do everything from scratch now let's get a four part. So PWD should give us a four parts, which is here. So copy this part, it is important, or take note of it. You can copy it or take note of it, it's fine. So just make sure you 
writing down something. Now let's cd back to our home directory. Now it's time to do the activity itself. So let's cd to the sum tools directory itself, the one we extracted. So cd to it, and then we are ready to roll. And so we need to first run the configure command. So we have it there. Let's do an ls. So we have it there already. So if you don't have the configure file, then you need to execute this command here. Let's go back. You need to execute this and then this. But in our case, we have it. So we don't need that. So let's go back. We don't need that. So let's go back. So let's clear the screen and then just proceed. Perfect. So now we are going to issue the configure command. So we say dot slash configure. And then we specify the directory where we want the compiled files or the files generated at the end of the day to be saved to. So we use the prefix command and we say equals, and that's the path that we went to get. So minus slash home slash students two slash apps slash some tools. This is it. So make sure you put yours also there and then run this command. So everything has started. So this is the first step. It is done for us. Let's proceed. The next step is to issue the make command. So we say make. And that is also being done for us nicely. Okay, make command has been done. Let's clear the screen and issue the next command. So the next one is make install. Perfect, so now everything is done. So we are now ready to go. So let's clear the screen. Do an ls. We are still in that same directory. So let's cd back. So let's Let's see the back. Perfect. Do an ls and then we are here. So everything we did has been stored here. So do an ls apps slash some tools. And you see this here. So this file here, this folder here or directory contains the binaries. So let's do an ls again slash bin. And you see the executables there. Perfect. So uh, that is done. So now, if you want to call some tools with our current setup, you have to say apps slash some tools slash bin slash some tools. And then that will be done for us. Again, let me just do it again. So, again, let me just repeat. I say apps slash some tools slash bin slash some tools and then you run it and that will give you the the results let's clear the screen do an ls but with the current setup it's going to be problematic especially if you are in a different directory and so what we want to do is that we want to uh, get our system uh, to be configured in such a way that when we say some tools, we will get the command executed for us. And that is what we are going to do next. So first of all, we need to get a path of the some tools um, executable file. So let's cd back. Let's say cd apps some tools bin. And then let's get the directory pwd to get this part here. This is what we need. So we need this particular one. Now let's cd back to our home directory or let's let's just cd back. So I'm here. So what I'm going to do next is to modify my .bashrc file and then add this path to it. That is what I'm going to do next. So before I do that, let me just make a copy of the .bashrc file. So I'll say cp.bashrc and I'll say bashrc.back. 
to me that backup file. Perfect. So now I'll modify the WRC file itself. So I am modifying it so that anytime I open the terminal, I can just call some tool straight away and it will run. So I'll say nano. You can also use VI. They are all VI. This one. You can also use VI. They are all text editors you can use. So any of them should work fine or any other text editor. But I prefer to use nano. So I'll use nano dot bash IC. Perfect. And I will scroll down and then I'll add the path here. So I'll issue the same command export path and then I'll add a path to the sum tools. So I'll say export path because dollar path colon and I'll specify the sum tools path like this. The dollar path here tells the system that we still want to retain all paths that have been configured earlier and then we add the sum to so that's what we do now so now we are done so let's save and exit perfect so now if you issue the sum tools command at the moment there will still be no result because uh, we need to initialize it so you can just open a new terminal so let's open a new terminal and then just issue some tools and now you have it done nicely for you so that is what you have to do so let's clear the screen do an ls we have everything we need perfect so and that is what we have so in addition to using the a source code you can also install using anaconda and i've covered the tutorial and lots i also leave it in the description box for you to check so just check that other approach and now you have two ways you can use to uh, install and set up some tools so that's all for this tutorial thanks for watching and i'll see you in the next session goodbye